Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I want to show you guys how you can create a tree in Maya using Maya Paint Effects. Okay. Now, in order for us to get started, we need to start off by creating a ground plane. So we're going to go to our Polygons drop-down menu, like so. Select that plane and drag that out in the grid. Something like that. We can hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay. Now, Maya contains a number of presets like trees and plants that are available under paint effects and you can use them on surfaces, for example, on this plane. Now, before we can do that, we need to tell Maya that this is a paintable surface. So, we have to go into our drop down menu, select rendering, then go up to paint effects and select make paintable, like so. So that's ready to go. Now we need to open the library that contains all these presets. So in order to do that, we're going to go up to Window, General Editors, go down to Pfizer, and load the database with presets. And there's a lot of stuff in here, from characters to flowers, you know, all sorts of uh, neat stuff. For now, we're going to go to the folder trees. And here you see a number of trees that you can use as a paint effect. And I'm just going to close this up a little bit. And I'm going to go with this uh, cherry tree today. So I'm going to middle click on the tree, hold and drag, and release that on my grid. I can now minimize this window. And no tree yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on the grid. And I'm going to start to pull that up. And there you go there's my tree. Okay. Now, if I keep on dragging on this plane, I'll create more trees. So if I feel that I'm done for now, I just hit the Q on the keyboard and that will stop that function. Okay. Now, let's say this is my final scene and I want to render this out. So I'm going to go to my render settings. Actually, it's down here. I'm going to go to mental ray. Go to indirect lighting and create some physical sun and sky. And now, if I hit render, you should think that I would get a tree, right? Okay. But unfortunately, we're not getting anything. The reason for that is that this is not a polygon shape. This is a paint effect. And if we want to be able to move this tree, scale it, uh, render it, etc., etc., we need to convert it first. So, we're going to select our tree, and we're going to go up to Modify, go down to Convert, and we're going to convert a paint effect to a polygon, like so. Okay. So now, if we go back into Rendering, and we render it again, And voila, there is your tree. It's still running out a bit. You can see it has some shading in there because I used the, uh, you know, physical sun and sky. Uh, you can use this uh, to create grass, trees, boats, characters, all sorts of neat stuff. But uh, for now, this is the basics. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment area. And uh, as always, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Okay, thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.